Hello and welcome to Matt Pilates. My name is Kim Hillard and today we're going to go through 30 minutes on the mat. We're not going to start standing and come down to the mat. We'll be on the mat the whole time. So go ahead and grab your mat. That's all you'll need today and let's get started. Come to a crisscross applesauce or another position that's comfortable for you as you're seated. Shoulders are back and down, lifted up nice and tall. We're going to focus on our breathing first. So inhale in through the nose. Let the rib cage expand east to west. And exhale, blow that air out through pursed lips. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, nice and deep, longer. Exhale. One more time, lift it up nice and tall. Inhale. And exhale. Good, roll those shoulders, reach your arms long out to the sides, and we're just gonna go shoulder to ear, ear to shoulder. Good. And again, and change that slightly, just look over each shoulder. Good work. And now let's stay right here and we're gonna do our little twist. So shoulders are back and down. Reach those arms long through the fingertips. Inhale and exhale, twist. One, two, three, small pulses. Inhale, look over that shoulder. Exhale, one, two, three, again. Inhale and exhale, one, two, three. Two, three, inhale and exhale, one, two, three. Inhale and exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, exhale. Good, other side. Perfect. Bend the leading elbow to 90 degrees and do just one more on each side. Inhale and exhale, one, two, three. Reach those arms long for circles. Inhale and exhale around six, five, four, three, two, each circle of full breath, and one, reverse the circle, inhale around and exhale up. I only want you going about shoulder height, two, inhale and exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, little pause at the top, five, and six, perfect, keep your arms out, I know they're probably starting to get a little bit sassy, and bring your legs a little bit wider than hip distance and we're going to do the saw so reach long shoulders back and down inhale exhale twist like we did before but now we're going to hinge forward getting this pinky finger to the outside of that pinky toe looking back over the shoulder the whole time one two and three inhale and exhale two three inhale and exhale one two three stack tall inhale and exhale one two, three, feel this stretch through your spine, your hamstrings, good, get a little deeper, keep those legs nice and straight, two, three, inhale, and exhale, reach, two, three, get that pinky finger farther toward the outside of that foot, and inhale, who's counting, I forgot, let's do one more each side, inhale, and exhale, one, two, Three, perfect. Come tall, shoulders back and down. Bring the feet together. One more little stretch for the hips and then we'll get going a little bit deeper into that work today. So let your hips kind of open. Pay attention here. Is one side a little tighter than the other? I'm gently pressing down with those elbows, kind of uh, trying to figure out if one side's a little sassier, a little tighter than the other. Good, inhale and exhale, place one hand off to the side and just do a little side bend, stretch, and over. Now your legs don't have to stay in this position if this is uncomfortable for you. Go back to that crisscross applesauce or just extended legs, whatever works best. And reach, and over, and one more. Perfect, all right, come into position for the 100. So we're gonna come onto our um, bottom here and then we're going to roll back so that only between the hips and the shoulder blades is touching the mat. So tuck and roll 
Nice and slow and in control and bring those legs up to tabletop, reaching long through the fingertips. Now you can squeeze your knees together and then extend them just a little bit farther than the hips maybe. Right over the hips work, this would be a little bit simpler, this might be a little bit more challenging. I want you to keep your eyes trained on your own belly button here, reaching long through the fingertips. We're going to pretend we're in a shallow pool. We're going to pat the water. So inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Pull those abs in tighter and exhale, feeling the small back pressing into the mat. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. That's halfway. I'm going to extend my legs for the second half. You just keep what works best for you and exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, squeeze those legs together. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two more. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three. Last time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, and done. Tuck the knees in, head down. Rock and roll just a little bit side to side to release the spine. And we're going to move right into our double bent leg and then we'll do single bent leg stretch. And then same thing for our straights. So hands resting on the shin, shoulders back and down, even in this uh, position here. Reach long through the head and neck, round your spine up. So now your upper body looks like a C, your cervical spine is in a C. We call this our upper C curve. Pull everything in tighter, really feeling that small back pressing into the mat. Inhale to open the arms and the legs. Exhale, scoop back around, tuck in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now extend your um, left leg, keeping your right leg tucked in. Both hands are on the shin, spread apart. And let's inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. And the farther out that leg goes, the more challenging that is. Again, maintain that pressure through the small back. One more here. Inhale, exhale, switch. And release, head down, rock and roll side to side. Now we're gonna do those same two exercises with straight legs. So the double straight leg stretch right into the single straight leg stretch. Now, often our legs do not want to go straight and we've got a little bend in them. If that's the case for you, I want your hands right on your hamstrings. If you can get them straight, I want you to do so. We're gonna reach long through the head and neck, round up, bring those hands all the way up toward the ankles if you can, straightening nice and long and tall. Shoulders back and down, squeeze the light out from between those legs. Inhale to open and exhale back around. Now remember, you're only going so low as you can continue to maintain the pressure through the small back right into the mat. Inhale and exhale. Four, five, and six. Again, one leg at a time, other leg extends as much as you feel like is working with that small back. Inhale, pull, exhale, release. Inhale and exhale. Straighter legs, feel that big old stretch. Good, one more each side, please. There's six and six. Perfect, tuck those knees in, bring that head down, rock and roll side to side. Excellent job. We're gonna move right into finishing our ab series, sometimes called the series of five, with our crisscross. And this is a nice oblique movement. So if your head is tired, leave it down on the mat. Bring the fingertips to rest behind the ears, not the other way around. The head is not being supported by the hands. The hands are just resting here. Shoulders are back and down, elbows are wide. We're going to once again roll up into that upper C curve and have the shoulder come toward the knee. Let's start a couple with our head down and then we'll move into that more advanced movement with the head off the mat. So I'm just going to take that back knee 
and bring it toward the front shoulder. The other leg opens up a little bit through the hip to try to get this knee in that cross position. I know it's hard to see on video. Inhale and exhale, but my hips kind of twist just a little bit as this knee comes across. And again, one more time each side. Reach and that other leg can extend as far as you'd like it to. And then if you're ready, I'm gonna round up and do the same thing. But I'm gonna twist all the way through that upper body as well. Now remember, we're leading with the shoulder, shoulder to knee, not the elbow. And reach, inhale, and exhale. Feel that small back press in. Good work, almost there. Good, bring the head down, rock and roll side to side. Extend your arms and your legs here for a good stretch. Making sure that you let that rib cage pop up off of the mat here. This is the only time I'll let you do that, right? So round it up, kind of feeling like the shoulder blades are coming toward the hips and vice versa. I like to wiggle my fingers and toes to remind me that we do not stop moving in Pilates, but I'm just going to be constantly pulling further and deeper into that stretch. Good. It feels like you're being pulled both directions, right from the feet in the hands. Inhale. Exhale, just reach long to the one side. I'm going to my back side, the farthest away from you. Inhale and exhale, front side. Good, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Again, each side, big old stretch here. Inhale and exhale. One more time to center. As long as you can make that body feel that tension and opposition. Perfect, bring your arms right next to you, shoulders back and down, and I'm gonna reset that spine, feeling that small back pressing into the mat. And we're gonna do some leg work here. So I'd like you to bring both legs up, and sometimes I do a little hip lift to get that small back in there, see if that works for you. Bringing the heels together, toes wide into a nice Pilates V here. Feeling once again, those small back pressing in, triceps are pressing in as I'm opening the shoulders here, spreading the fingers to engage the arms a little bit as well. Squeeze up and in, feeling that small back, we're just gonna lower and raise those legs. Once again, we're only going as deep as we can maintain that pressure through the small back. So if you start to feel it pop up off the mat, if you come all the way down here, we're going too deep, right? And reach. So it's gonna look different for everybody. Five, good news is maybe there's only one or two other people with you right now. And six, good, we're gonna go right in a circle. So coming down and around, heels find each other. Six, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, four, three. Those abs should be starting to get a little sassy by now. Two, feel that small back, don't release it. And one, go the other way for me. Inhale around, heels fan each other at the bottom and squeeze all the way up. Inhale and exhale, squeeze. Two, inhale and exhale, squeeze. Three, four, five, and six. Good, right here at the top, we're going to do opening. So once again, straighten those legs. Squeeze all of the light out from between them. Open wide, flex your feet, toes down, lead back up with the heels, six, and point. Inhale to open, flex, squeeze down, five, inhale, and exhale, four, three, two, last one. And one, perfect, bring the heels together, knees wide, hands on the shins, a little open work for the hips. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna do those same exercises one leg at a time. You have a couple of options with the other leg. You can have that foot on the mat, knee bent, or you can extend it long, flexing the foot to anchor your body with this long extended leg. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this version. Again, this is your option. Just make sure that knee isn't just all willy-nilly hanging out there. You're going to press down through the heel, making sure, again, you're anchoring that small back right into the mat. Now, the leg that's up, I want it nice and extended and as straight as you can get it. 
with a beautiful external rotation. So my toes are turned away from my body. Fix those shoulders and triceps again. We're starting with the up downs, down and up. Now I'm gonna engage that opposite glute here to keep that small back in and keep that leg anchored. <sighs> Inhale and exhale there, six. Now right into circles. Inhale toward the body, exhale around and up, six. <sighs> Five, belly tighter, four. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. And one, go the other way. Inhale away, exhale around and up, six. Five, abs tighter, feel that small back, four, three, two, and one. Good, now single leg openings, nice external rotation. Inhale to open, flex that foot and squeeze back up. Good, now make sure you're not pulling that other hip off of the mat, but you're staying nice and anchored. Again, engage that opposite glute. And here's four, lead back up with the heel. Don't forget that external rotation, toes down. Good, and six, good. Bring that leg down, other leg up. Good, so again, you might find that you prefer to have the foot on the mat and the knee bent or extend it long. Flex the foot, external rotation, and down and up. Squeeze six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into circles. Inhale and exhale around. Six. Feel that small back. Five. If you're not feeling it, go ahead and bend that leg. Four, three, two. Inhale and exhale all the way through each circle. Let's reverse it. Inhale and exhale around. Six right over that hip, five, it doesn't have to be very big at all, four, three, inhale, exhale, two, and one, perfect, straight up, and let's open, flex the foot, toes down, lead back up with the heel, point, inhale, and exhale, two, three, Good, release the tension in your shoulders. I just realized I had some there. And here's five. And last time. And six, excellent. Bring those knees in, release that spine. And we're gonna use one or both legs to kind of jackknife up to a seated position. Good, breathing through. Oops, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. We're gonna come toward that front edge of the mat and get a little, um, spinal movement and we're going to roll like a ball we're going to do six in total and in the last couple I want you to do an extension with those legs right at the end so go ahead and start with your hands right in your knee pits squeeze those knees together open your shoulders open your elbows and pull your abs up so tight that it lifts the feet now find that position where you're like whoo i either got to go forward or backwards i'm wiggling here things are not steady that's kind of where I want you to begin and end this movement in a balance challenge position. Shoulders are back and down, nice and long, tall through the spine. Good. Tuck. Let gravity pull you back to your shoulder blades. Round up and balance, nice and tall. Let's do it again. Inhale and exhale, round. Gravity, gravity, gravity. Abdominals, don't let those feet touch. Good. There's two. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Tuck those knees in. Maybe you can do it without the hands. Inhale and exhale. Round, round, round. And up. And then next time we'll add that extension. Ready? Inhale and exhale. Tuck and roll. Up and extend. And forward. Round that spine. Perfect. Shoulders back and down. Need to look at my time here. Oh, looking good. All right. So we're going to get a little side movement in for the side plank. And I want you to just come extended on your mat. Stack your knees. 
shoulders are back nice and tall and your legs and feet everything is just stacked here as though you had like a mermaid tail or a merman tail or your legs were fused together however you want to look at it right so we're going to go ahead and just lift up this bottom hip which of course will lift the top hip we're going to reach over the head as we do so inhale and exhale lift and reach barely touch that hip lift and reach two three sorry for my hand going off screen it's still there one more please Good. And we're just going to add on to this slightly. When we come up, we're going to open the top hip. Now you could keep hips down if you need to. You could always be on your forearm here if that's better, if you have a wrist issue. All right. I like that bigger movement. So I try to go with the farther away and we're just going to lift up and then open that top hip and close it. Then come down, shoulders back, inhale and exhale, lift, open, close, down lift open close down barely touch lift open close down good so pull those obliques in really feel the work in the sides of your spine and abdominals and there's six there one last thing just one almost or full complete side plank. I'm going to keep my knee down to demonstrate that one, but you could have both legs extended if you would like to. I'm going to extend the top leg, lift up, reach long, and then come back down. We're going to take a breath at the top, so be prepared to stay up there just a little bit longer than we were staying up. Again, pull the abs up and in. Lift, reach, inhale, exhale, lift that leg up if you want. And then we're going to come down. Excellent. Switch to the other side. Stack those legs. First thing we did was lift that bottom hip. So shoulders are back and down. We're going to reach long overhead. Six, barely touching the hip before we come back up. Inhale and exhale up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Use that oblique. Two and one ready for that addition we're going to come down we're going to lift and close ready inhale exhale lift open close down lift open close down lift open close down lift open close down lift open close down. Nice work. Ready for that semi or fully extended side plank. If you want to, we'll stay at the top. We'll give that top leg a lift if you would like to. You can do that in the extended. You can keep the bottom leg down and lift the top. Shoulders back. Pull those abs up and in. Inhale and exhale up. Hold. Maybe you want to bring it up. Inhale and exhale back down. Nice work. All right, we're going to do a quick rollover to bring those legs overhead. We're going to finish strong after that. So round down. Shoulders back and down. Feel that small back pressing into the mat once again. Shoulders back, triceps pressing in. Start at about 45 degrees. Inhale and exhale. First, just kick the ceiling, lifting those hips up a little bit. If you have osteoporosis, osteopenia, osteoarthritis, you're not going to bring the legs overhead. We're only going to do three here. So see what you got. Inhale, exhale up and over. This first time, let's just bend the knees. Whoops. Bend the knees tight. Round the spine down. Belly tight. Tight, tight, tight. All about control and precision. All right, I'm going to keep those legs straighter this time. Inhale, exhale up and over, bringing them down and then dragging the straight legs kind of across the chest. Good. Make sure everything is aligned. You're not feeling one side pulling tighter than the other. Squeeze the light out from between those thighs. And one more. This time we're going to come up and over. Long straight legs. I'm going to touch them to the ground. 
And then the most challenging is to keep those legs nice and tall. So pull those abs in tight. Good. And re release. Oh, I should get a drink of water. Maybe you need one. All right, we're gonna finish quickly with planks and push-ups and then a cool down. So come into your favorite plank position. I happen to be a hands and toes girl. We're gonna get that plank accurate. Then we're going to do a set of push-ups and then we're gonna do one more push uh, plank rather. So tuck those elbows in tight. If you're on your forearms, same thing. Everything's nice and tight. If you wanna go on your knees, cross your ankles to release the weight off of the kneecaps and put it more onto your lower quadriceps. So I'm gonna pull everything down and in, and I'm gonna engage all the way through the body before I come up. Inhale, exhale, pull those abs in, let the whole body come up at one time, making sure the chest doesn't rise before the hips or vice versa. So I'm looking ahead of my mat a little bit here, making sure my head and neck are long and straight. Shoulders are to the outside of the rib cage, pulling the abs up and in, going all the way down into the thighs, and hamstrings back into the heels even. Pull a little tighter. Inhale and exhale, lower down slowly. Cross your ankles, tuck your knees in. One set of Pilates push-ups. These are tricep push-ups. Pull those abs up and in a little bit tighter. Again, everything comes up at the same time. Making sure your hands are right under your shoulders. I am almost always just slightly extended there. Rotate your elbow pits forward and bring your whole body into a straight line. Make sure you don't drop your head here as we come down, barely touch the chest and back up. Notice that my arms are right next to my rib cage and I'm literally feeling them in contact all the way down. Abs tighter, use the glutes. One more. Perfect, come all the way down. Nice work. We've got one final plank to do. This time we're gonna put a little bit of work into the legs. We're just gonna do a leg pull up on each side. We'll actually do three leg pull ups on each, each side. If you've got one in you and then you need to lower down, that's great. If you can stay up for all three, perfect. Two works as well. See what you got today. Again, you could do it on your knees. Just don't cross your ankles. Inhale and exhale, engage. Bring everything at once. I think my chest was a little slow to come off there. Pull everything tight, shoulders back and down, head and neck long, belly tighter. All right, inhale and exhale, lift one leg up. One, and down, switch to the other leg. One, and down, inhale, exhale. Switching legs each time. And there's two, just one more on each side. Inhale and exhale, reach long and reach and that's it i want you to lower down super slowly keeping those elbows right next to your rib cage good work we did it just 30 minutes there bring your hips back over your heels and your knees wide i like to bring my head to the mat and bring my hands back shoulders kind of wrapping around the thighs here take a moment let's let that heart rate return to normal Inhale, exhale, one more breath. Good, bring your hands back out in front again, walk them away from you and pull yourself into all four position here. Shoulders are back. Bring your front leg right to the outside of that front foot and then extend long through that back leg Wiggling into place, shoulders are back and down, head and neck is long. Nice long runner's lunge. Now, square your hips here. And then let's straighten both legs. My back heel doesn't like to get very close to the mat, I'm working on it. See what you got there, inhale, exhale, bring that back knee down. And we'll bring the other knee back and switch. Hands are flat. The leg is kind of aligned with the shoulder there. Reach long through that back leg. Wiggle it as far back as you're comfortable with. Shoulders back and down. And square the hips. Inhale. Exhale, let's straighten both legs. Can't keep my hands flat either. Ooh, this one's tighter. Doesn't want to go as straight. 
inhale and exhale. Good. Both knees are down into that uh, supported position again. Round your spine. Tuck your spine. Round. Tuck. Round. Tuck. Perfect. Come back to seated here. Again, whatever position you're comfortable with. I'm going to go back into crisscross applesauce. Shoulders are back and down. We're going to reach those arms up. Inhale, exhale, turn your fingertips away from one another. Feel like you're lifted up out of that hip girdle. And let's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick Pilates mat class. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.